What's up guys, it's iOS Pro and today I'm going to show you guys how to pair your Magic Mouse to an iPad running iOS 13 or 14 today. So let's get started. So before you guys pair up your Magic Mouse to your iPad, there are a few things to know about. First thing is, Make sure your mouse is switched on and make sure your iPad Bluetooth is on as well. Make sure you have an iPad running out of 13 or 14 as well. So you can use an, any iPad running out of 13 or 14 for this to work. So now that Bluetooth is on, go to settings, go to Bluetooth, and just like that, you guys can see iOS Pro's mouse. Click, click it to pair up. And just like that, the mouse is now paired up. To scroll through sections, Hover your mouse with cursor over and just slide up. That's how you scroll. And now I can click in here, just like this. And you guys can see, when I go to software update here, I'm still on iOS 14 beta 4, so I have not updated this iPad yet. So, in case you guys are wondering about that. And now, since I have my Magic Mouse paired up, you guys can see there's a new option in general below keyboard for trackpad and mouse. So when I go in the trackpad and mouse, you guys can see there are a few options here. For the trackpad speed, tracking speed limit, you guys can see when I turn that up, my mouse is now more sensitive now. When I turn down, you guys can see when I move my mouse fast, it's very slow. So I'll turn it up back to where it was, and now you guys can see the mouse is now it's moving fast again, just like that. And there's another one for natural scrolling. It says content will track the movement of your fingers. That means when you're moving the fingers on your mouse or trackpad, It'll, it'll keep in sync with it. And the secondary click is the ability to have one side of the mouse for, for one option and the other side of the mouse for a different option. For example, like this, when I hit the left one here, click on stuff right here, it only works on the home screen here, what I've discovered. So when I do it on the left click here, you guys can see it brings up the, th the four stitch menus. Do the right click, goes to edit mode. That's actually really cool. But the middle click, Let's go back into the app. So, I think I'll go and turn that off. So, I have to actually click directly in the middle, or I won't be able to turn it on or off. So, now it's off. And now I've restored to my original click function. So, just like that, that's how you use your magic mouse. So, it's really cool. You could also use it to play games and stuff, except for Asphalt and 9. That's the only one you cannot use it on. So, if you're playing a racing game, it won't work. But if, you, if you're playing a puzzle game, which requires fingers to touch to like move move like game pieces around, then this mouse will be useful for that. So that is how you pair your Magic Mouse up to your iPad on iOS 13 or iOS 14. So that's pretty much it for this video. If I did a video, give it a thumbs up for my video.